Get him, come on. Oh, where did he go? Damn. The spider was on the hunt for this. For what? A bee that was right there. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, and then he saw me and he went away quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How goes it? This is my last evening here on Woodby Island. Had a good day today. Filmed a whole homebrew of some jalapeno honey stout. And if you want to see that, check out the link below. I'll try to put it in there. So right now, since it's about 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock I think actually, and high tide is at 6, I'm going to go out to uh, Robinson's Beach and try to catch me another salmon. I want to feel it again. I want to go out and get another fish. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Day three fishing Robinson's Bay. Hopefully get another salmon so I can fillet it better. Went and did some research and figured out how to properly take care of it after you after you do catch one. And I see some faces from yesterday out here too. <laughs> well, like I said, let's see if we can't get on another coho. Yeah, my goal was to catch multiple fish, but I think one fish would be pretty cool at this point. One, two, three. And now four fishermen on the beach. This place is pressured. I don't know if you watched my other videos, but past this house, it's private. And past the houses over there are private. You can't, you're not supposed to fish or even walk on that shoreline because the people that own the houses own the beach, apparently. Isn't that crazy? Where are the fish at? <clears throat> They like the choppier water? Okay. Oh, I gotta show you something real quick. Gotta show you something real quick that just happened to the Blackhawk 2. I've been out fishing with this rod three times, four times, excuse me. And um, I've cast a lot every time for sure, but <laughs> something like this should not happen. Oh, cast King, come on. This, this must happen to more people. It, I can't imagine it not. So I just went to cast and then I noticed that, oh, oh, the glue is not existent anymore. So that's cool. It's just on there with glue, really? Couldn't have been like two, like one piece or like screwed in or whatever. Get what you pay for. Oh shit. Oh my god, I got bit hard. I fumbled. Oh, I still got him, I still got him. Okay. I think it's a small one. I mean, it feels big, but it's not fighting hard. Oh my God. <sighs> no, 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 no. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's, oh shit. Oh hell no. <laughs> it just tossed the lure. Uh, oh, I still got the hook in. Uh, Adipose is clipped, and it is, it is. It's good to go. Keep it? You want to keep it? Sure. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, you know, like I said, I'm not a huge fish eater, but my mom loves it, and this gives me another chance to fillet it. So, I don't know what the magic is. I don't know if it's the end over here. Um, but this is my uh, clipped adipose coho salmon. Another one just the same exact size. So I'm pretty stoked. It felt great. Honestly, it didn't put up a fight like yesterday, but gives me, like I said, it gives me another chance to fillet it. And I'm going to do this one justice. So 
Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. The beating heart. I have to do this one justice. I have to eat this. I'm eating the heart. Here. Don't taste it, just smell it. <coughs> oh my god, that was so gross. Fisherman's life. How do you do that, bro? Oh my god. Run the knife exactly along the middle of the fish. So, how lucky am I to go out and get another one? I caught it within 30 to 40 minutes. Gnarly. I really hoped to get another one so I could fillet it better. And right now I have a guy on YouTube filleting salmon for sushi. So he's doing it really precisely. And I'm gonna really try and focus here. This is hopefully gonna be better. So I was down there with my mom. And my dad was hanging out, my mom was fishing. And I hooked up on this fish. I kind of fumbled on my, my reel. And I thought it was just a hit, but it was still on there. So pretty stoked. If I catch any more this trip, I think that I'm probably just going to release them. I just don't need any more. But catching them is so fun. So tonight, on the menu, surf and turf. Good times, man. Coming up to visit my folks and catching some fish. Solid. So tonight, guys, we're going to be doing it a little different. We're going to have one filet of the salmon. And look at that beautiful filet. Way bigger than last time. Garlic, and lemon, butter. And another piece we're just going to lay out on a piece of cedar and put out on the grill. Because there's two filets, because I did a good job. And then uh, I'll put some garlic on that. And then I'm going to arrange the uh, slices of lemon on top of that, fold it up, and then put it on the grill. All right, guys, there we go. There is the lemon garlic butter salmon and the rosemary salt and pepper salmon and some steak we did it again delicious we've got the baked potato we've got rosemary salt and pepper salmon we've got the turf and we have our lemon garlic butter salmon yes i actually like it I can say that I like fish. I'm dead serious. This this lemon butter garlic salmon is good. I'm not even joking. Look at this. There it is. Just get make sure there's no bones because you got a lot of pin bones in there. You know you don't know. Dude, I'm dead serious. That's so good. That's actually so good. There's no confusion of weird fishiness. There's no. There's, I want more. I want more. <laughs> Remember guys, like land shark fishing always says, there's no trash fish, there's just trash cooks. And get the right ingredients. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good.